Okay, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. So today I'll be teaching you how to do a mat. Okay, where you lengthen each character, each of the huruf hijaiyah. When you see this mat, which is okay, I'm gonna tell you, which is alif, wow, wow, and ya, you will have to lengthen it by two harakat. That means around two seconds, okay? Two seconds, two or three seconds, like that. Okay, so when you see an alif combined with the the huruf hijaiyah, you will say it in fatha. Okay, like ba will turn into ba panjang. Okay, long ba can turn into ba panjang. Okay, but it's always a fatha when it is in the alif. Okay, so let me write down again. So alif, wow, and yeah, these are all mad. Where we lengthen the huruf. Where we can lengthen the huruf. When we see it combined with alif, wow, or ya. Yeah. So for example, like just now, we see the huruf ba. This is the huruf ba, right? With a fatha. If there is no fatha, it is just a b. Okay, but with a fatha, it is a ba. Okay, if this ba, I combine it with an alif like this. And I only put, normally when it is an alif, it, it is always a fatha like this, fatha, baris atas. Um, it is longer. Okay, you have to pronounce it longer. You have to say it longer. Like, ba, uh, panjang. Ba, ba, panjang. Okay, so, again, ba, panjang. For two, two seconds, like 1,000, 2,000, like that. So, ba, two seconds. Okay. So, um, another one is, so we just focus on alif for the moment. So, the next one, for example, I put a ta, the letter T. Okay, ta because I put a fatha. Okay, this is a A. So, ta, ta, and A becomes ta. Okay, so if I combine it with an alif, I just draw an alif. Okay, it becomes ta, panjang. Okay, ta, panjang. Okay, so the last one. Okay, so for any huruf, okay, that you see an alif beside it, it means longer. It means that you have to say longer for two harakat. Okay, two seconds. One thousand, two thousand. Okay, so for example, the letter Z. This is the letter Z, right? You take out your tongue. So if I put an alif beside it, okay, this is what you call alif beside it, you pronounce it as Z panjang. Okay, so how about fa? This is the letter fa. Letter F. Okay, but if I put a fatha, it becomes fa. What else is just a f, the letter f? Okay, so if I combine it with an alif like this, it becomes, if it's always a fatha, it becomes fa. Okay, so like del, this is del, right? Del. So if I put alif, alif is just one straight line, like that. It becomes da panjang. Okay. So, if I put kof, kof, if with two dots. So, if I combine it with an alif, the ending, I just put an alif. It becomes ko panjang. This is ko, remember? Ko with an alif. So, it becomes pa. It becomes panjang. Ko. Okay. So, let's say I put ka. This is ka, right? But, this is also ka when I want to... Join it with alif, okay? So I use this ka, so it becomes ka panjang. Okay, it will transform into this ka when you want to combine it with other letters or huruf. So I say it longer ka. Okay, now the next one is the letter wow. Okay, if I want to lengthen it, I have to do this. For example, ka, okay. I have to transform into this first, and then I combine it with wow like this, and I put an alif here. 
so while it's always gamma so it becomes ku okay the letter u this the letter u okay while is the letter u always always okay when there is no baris at the top of the wow it becomes panjang ku panjang for two harakat okay two seconds so for example i put a fa is the letter f right f is a fa but okay with fatha it is a fa it is a but when i combine it with wow okay it is wow okay wow is always the ma okay it becomes fu panjang fu tu harakai fu panjang okay so it's the same like this this is dhamma fu okay when i add a small wow here it is just a fu just one second fu but if i want to lengthen it long e lengthen it i add a wow like this it becomes i add the wow okay i add the wow it becomes fu panjang okay fu and fu panjang okay so for example i take like um ta okay the word ta so i want to put wow kecil it becomes two right okay from ta i put a small wow it becomes two see the pronunciation is different so now it becomes two but if I want to lengthen it, I add a wow. Okay, wow and other, it becomes two panjang. Okay, but it doesn't matter if I don't add an alif, um, it is still long. Okay, this is also long. If I don't add any baris at the top of the wow, it is empty, it just panjang. Okay, long. Two, it is still two harakat. Okay, two panjang. So how about the last um, baris, which is ya? Okay, ya. If I combine it with ta and ya, okay, kasro, it becomes ti panjang. It can also be like this ta and ya. Ya can also be in this in this form. Okay, as long as there is two dots at the bottom, it is a Ya, ya is with two dots. Okay, so ta is two dots at the top. Then I put kasro. Ti, then it becomes panjang. Okay, this is, this is ta and ya. Ya is at the bottom. Dot at the bottom. So I pronounce it as ti. See, there is no baris, right? There is no baris at the top. I never put any baris at the top. So you just lengthen it as Ti panjang. Okay. So if I just draw ta and kasro, it is just a T. T. Okay. And if I put ta, it is just a ta. If I put tama, which is a small wow, it is a tu. But if I want to lengthen it, I want to long it, I put a ya. Okay. Ta and ya. Okay. It is a T panjang. Okay, it is always a ya when it is a kasro. Okay, but if I put... Okay, if I put... Oops. Okay, if I put... Yeah. If I put ta, okay, ta, and I want to make it long, I put a alif ta panjang. Okay, long. If I want to put a 2, okay, 2, and I want to lengthen it, I put a wow, okay, 2 pandang. Okay, I cannot put 2 with an alif. Okay, I cannot put 2 with an alif. I cannot have this Paris and an alif together, cannot. 2 must be with a wow, 2. Okay, it is a wow. Okay, two. Then you can lengthen it by two harakat. Two panjang. Okay, two. So if I want to put ta, I put ta panjang with an alif. Okay, if I put ti, 
I combine it with a ya to lengthen it. Titi panjang. Remember ya is with two dots at the bottom. That is a ya. Okay. I can also do like this. Okay. Titi panjang. Titi. Okay. So that's all for today. Now we learn. Uh, for example, ba can turn ba with the fatha and turn into ba panjang. Okay, bu can turn into bu to harakat panjang. Okay, and then the last one is b. We can add a ya at the bottom. It becomes b panjang. So this is what you call mat, the natural mat, mat asli. Okay, alif, wow, and ya is called my asli. Okay, this is just to lengthen the huruf, huruf hijaiyah. So, if you don't put any mat or any alif or ya, you, you cannot lengthen it. We just say it as ba, ta, sa, ja, ha, kho. But if you put an alif or a wow or a ya, you can lengthen it by ba, ta, like that or if you put a wow okay a u you can lengthen it by like this boo to it is all you the letter you foo ku ku ju like that that is wow you the letter you but if i put a ya for example ya kasra right it becomes B, T, F, G, to harakat. You long it. Lengthen it. Okay, panjangkan. D, R, uh, D, depending on what you want to say. Okay. So, if I put like this. Q, to, Okay, if I want to write Q. Okay, this is the letter K. With a U, it becomes Q. And then T, T, T. This is the letter T. With W, it becomes T. This is the letter U. Q, T. Okay, this is Q, T, B. I want to long it. To lengthen it. Okay, long it. B, baris bawah. Okay, kasro. Baris bawah, this is the letter B. B, B. And the letter I. Okay. B, panjang. Sebab ada... Ya, because there is a ya, so you lengthen it. But if I put a baris at the ya on top of ya, it becomes b b ya. Okay, if I put a baris, okay, at the top of the ya, it becomes b ya. Okay, go to b ya. Okay, so it's like that. If I don't put any baris, okay, you just long it, lengthen it by. Two seconds. B panjangkan, okay? So let's say if I have like um like this, okay? This is the letter Mim, okay? Mim can be like this. Mim Oh ma Mim. This is also Mim, okay? Mim like this, okay? When you join it with another group. We use this one. Mim. Letter ma. Letter M. Okay. Ma. Mim. M. So, I want to put kof. I put two dots over here. So, I want to say kola. Okay. So, I will write that. Kola mi. Okay. I want to write ko. Baris atas is the word kof. So, got kof. Got two titik, right? Two dots. Okay. Kof got two dots. Okay, cough got two dots. So, so, cough. Okay, cough got two dots. Cough because it's fatha. A, the letter A. Cough, this is the letter lam. L, the letter la, lam. Letter L. Then I want to put fatha. It becomes la. Okay, if I put kasro at the bottom, it becomes li. If I put Dhamma, the small one becomes blue. So I put lah. Kala ni panjang. Okay. 
me because it's baris bawah and I don't put any baris at the top of the ya so it becomes me panjang okay if I put the baris fatha at the ya it becomes me ya okay if I put the baris kasrah at the bottom it becomes me yi okay me yi letter y yi if I put the baris tema it becomes me you because this is the letter you lomma is the letter you me you so it becomes me you Okay, so you want to make uh, what what word, what letter combination? You can combine and put a baris, so we can say baris fatha, al kasra, al gamma. So we can say the letter. How do you want to pronounce the letter? We use the baris to pronounce the letter. Okay. So we have put uh, letter double it comes an, and then the letter double it comes in. And the letter double, the baris double. Okay, these are all baris double. It becomes un, an. Okay, I put alif an. Uh, and then I put the baris bawah, right? So, the huruf must be at the top. Eh, salah. So, I put in. And then, this, I put the huruf at the bottom. It becomes un, an, in, un. Hmm, so... If I put the huruf ba, if I put the huruf, okay, if I put the huruf ba, so this ba ban. Okay, if I want to put the huruf b bin. If I want to put the huruf bu, okay, bu is u right, bu. Put a double, it comes bun, bun. Okay, these are all adding of n. The baris n, okay, like ban, bin, bun. Okay, the ending there's a n there. Ban, bin, bun. Okay, if I put the uh, alif, the huruf with the alif combined with an alif, it comes ba, ta, ta. Okay, the panjang. Okay, semua ni panjang. Okay. Ja, okay. Ja. And you want to combine with other huruf. Okay, like ju. Okay, this one is ju. Wow. The letter u. Ju. Okay, we we cut off the body. We just use the head ja. This is the letter ja. Okay, j. The letter j. Ja, this is ja. Okay, ja. Okay, if I want to put ha with an alif, it becomes ha panjang. Okay, ha and then if I put ya, it is always a kasrah. It becomes hey. Okay, this is the letter h. Hey. Okay, this ha hey and hu. Letter u is with wow hu like that. Okay, then I put a wow. So I put a gamma. So I can pronounce it hu or else it is just like ha. You cannot even pronounce the letters without the baris. So you put the baris so you can pronounce the letter. If you want it long, you put a mat. Okay, you put the mat outside, alif, wow, or ya at the beside. Uh, you combine it with the letters, okay? So it becomes ha, he, and hu. Okay, so that's all for today. I hope you enjoyed the lesson. Uh, so I'll see you. I'll see you next time, okay? Inshallah. Goodbye. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.